Um, so you recently released Wolverines, um, how have you found its reception? It's been incredible, this um, has been, it's been extra special. Um, is there anything that sets it apart from your previous two albums? Uh, better haircuts. Yeah? Better um, beards at all? Or? Definitely better beards. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> yeah. Um, well, it's more well-groomed. I think everything was a little bit more thought out and um, I think the craftsmanship of the songs is, is better. Um, as a band, you've always had a lot of love in the UK, and uh, it seems vice versa. You seem to love it here. Why do you think that is? I think we've. Always, I think when you go to a place and, and and you find love, and you get love, you automatically love it back. I think that's part of it. So um, you find that in the UK, a lot of um, music fans love American bands, but. Um, the other way, when you're in the States, not a lot of English bands seem to do well. Any reason It does that? seem harder for English bands in our genre of music to do well in the States. But obviously, you know, English bands on the whole are like, you know, have pretty much shaped the way that Americans write music. Yeah, some of my favorite bands are English bands. <laughs> Such as? Stone Roses, Travis. The Jam, yeah. Libertines, Blair, Oasis. Um, so you've just finished playing a few shows with the band Mooseblood, who are actually signed to an American label now, getting quite a bit of attention. Um, what do you think of those guys? They were great. They're awesome. Uh, we were played. We were, you know, we wanted to bring a, a British band out on the tour, and I was sent like five bands to listen to, and I listened to the first song on Mooseblood, and I said, "That's it. That's the band that should come out." So we, you know, they were handpicked by us to because we wanted to watch them every night and. That's what we did. They were yeah. great, and they're great boys too. Tightest pants I've ever seen. They do have very yeah. tight pants. It's crazy. Um, so you guys are from uh, the Long Island scene, which again in the UK, a lot of kids have really looked up to that. There's been a lot of big bands come through from that. Is it still the same nowadays as it was, say, 10 years ago? No, it's not at all. Um, the scene in Long Island back in those days was this weird magical thing where there were these amazing bands that were just coming out every week and just taking over the world. Um, it's a little bit different now. Um, I think I'm just older and like there's a new scene, but it's, you know, it's a, it's about the third wave of the Long Island punk scene. Um, so it is still, a, you know, a pretty fertile place, um, but I don't think that uh, anything can really touch that era of Long Island as far as what was getting turned out.